everyone, I'm Tina Fussell, or Traveling Mama, as many of you know me online. And I'm here today to show you how to add paint splatter to your projects. A lot of you have been asking how I do it online, and, and there's a few different ways you can do it, and it's just easier to show you, I think, sometimes than try to explain it. Um, here I've got a project that I did where it's got multiple colors, and then I um, added sequins on just to add a little extra something. Um, here's one that just has one color and then again just a, like a little bling um, little crystals or something like that so there's a few different ways you can do this um, I have just some cheap all-purpose acrylic paint that I actually watered down I don't know if you can see that it's real watery uh, because I knew that I wasn't going to use it for anything else and then you just kind of tap your brush real lightly um, that's one way. Um, the other way, I'm just going to wash my brush off here a little bit, is I have some paint that it's just, again, it's just acrylic paints, just generic paint, but it's not watered down. So I just take a watered brush, stick it in and get some paint on there and maybe water it down a little more. And then just kind of tap it real lightly. Just like that. Um... Now, the problem with these is that the more layers you put on, uh, the more the paper will warp, and if you really want lots of paint on it, the, the, the paper will start to kind of curl up, and that drives me crazy. Also, it takes a lot longer to dry. Whereas, uh, let me show you on a smaller canvas here. Now, I have a, a box with a bunch of my paints and stuff in it. I use several different brands. These... Studio Calico, Mr. Huey's are awesome. I love the chalkiness of the October afternoon. Um, the, these Tattered Angels tend to have like a really cool shimmer. So let me show you a Tattered Angels. Um, again, just I just shook it. I know that you're not like you're not supposed to shake it like this because it apparently gets all the ink up into the cap. But I don't actually ever spray mine. But you can just swirl it around and make sure it's all mixed up. And then just kind of tap it off. And then just, if there's not enough on there, you just grab a little more. I do it really, really lightly. Now, typically when I'm not doing a video, I'll give this just a second to, um, to set. But since we're in a bit of a rush, I'm just going to go ahead and throw some more on here. So these Mr. Huey's are a bit more saturated in the color and um, there we go the color always the thing about the tattered angels is it's got a little bit more of a shine look at me I'm making a mess on my table <laughs> um, they have a little bit more of a shine whereas these Mr. Huey's when they dry they look just a little bit more saturated and then these October afternoon, I really like these a lot too because they have just a real chalky look to them when they dry. And again, just unscrewing, just kind of flinging it. I don't really have a, a method. Half the time it goes wherever it goes and then I build my project around that. So then there's um, Tattered Angels has these paints and I use them. I actually use these quite a bit too. I like the shimmer that they have. And I just kind of, see there's not enough, so I'll just get some more. And if you want bigger, bigger splashes, you just draw out more and drop heavier. See that? And um, normally I would put a piece of paper under here. I don't know why I didn't do that this time. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I do. Um, I have some Maya Mist. I do the same exact thing, just shake them up and splatter away, and that's all there is to it.